What's going on, fishing family? Today, we've got a brand new toy to play with. This is the surf fishing boat. Holy cow. Now, the way that this thing is shaped, it cuts right through the waves, <laughs> carry a ton of weight on in terms of bait in the back, and it's all GPS locked. Let's see what we're gonna catch today. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a big wave. Oh no. almost cheating using this boat because it just makes it too easy. shout out to Hemiway Bikes because they gave us this awesome Hemiway bike and it comes with this awesome chariot that can attach and detach. This thing is so awesome because I can bring all my stuff here. I have my boat on here, I have all my fish on here. I also have this other Hemiway bike right here which I've been using for about over a year now. It's been fantastic. I love using the Hemiway bikes and they just sent us a bike rack for the back of my truck. So now I can just put both the Hemiways on the back of my truck. It works out really well. I wouldn't have been able to get out to this spot without the bikes. So shout out to Hemiway. Right. Look at this thing. Our first time using our surf fishing boat here. Have you seen this yet? We're gonna I, I, I see what we do. We're going to attach the fishing line to the back here. Uh -huh. We'll drive it out to the drop-off. So we can drop the bait out there. And it's a remote, right? Yeah, with a remote. We can release it off. Maybe first I'll set up my rods. This is our catch-all rigs with our special hand-painted floats. Now these floats, the color yellow, orange, will attract the fish in because they look like ghost shrimp. They also look like sand fleas. Fresh shrimp on here. Same thing as this one, except this one has no floats. We're gonna see whether the floats work better or the no floats work better. I'm using this threading here. It's elastic threading that's pretty much invisible when you wrap up your bait, but it keeps it on the hook so little fish can't peck it off. Also helps so when you cast it really hard, it doesn't fly off your hook. All right, I like to wrap it around 20 times or however many times to keep it tight. All right, this one's ready to go. Oh, I'm excited to try this boat out, y'all. So this boat, like I said, is GPS locked, meaning it knows exactly where we are right now. So when I hit return home, it'll come back to where we are. Also can mark the different holes that I go to and drop my bait out. This is really important because if I'm catching a bunch of fish in that hole and I wanna get right back into that exact same hole, instead of having to visually memorize where that was I casted to get to that spot. I can actually just push a button on my remote. It'll drive it to the exact GPS location where I dropped it. And I can mark exactly where I was catching the fish over and over again. The cool part about this is that it can hold all of my bait inside here. And if it's too big, it's strong enough to drag my big baits. What I'm gonna do is attach my line to this back pin right here. And with this, it can drag my line all the way out there and drop my bait exactly where I want it every single time. Really excited to use it. I've attached a GoPro to the front so I get a cool view of what it looks like going out there. I've never used this before. I'm really hoping that it can actually make it through these huge waves. The waves are looking quite big today. A little bit worried. I don't want to lose this thing, but yeah, let's give it a try. All right, first I gotta turn it on. I gotta attach the battery. Whoop, on. This whole thing should be waterproof. We're gonna clip this sinker right there. And I'll close it. Now the sinker's attached. 
now it's attached. When I turn this knob right here, it'll open this. If I have bait in there, it'll fall out. But really, when I go to this, this next turn is where it drops it all. Open up your spool. Yep. This is our first time trying it. Supposedly, it can go through waves. It's meant to be cutting through the surf. I'm gonna hit GPS on. When I hit that, it sets the GPS location so that it knows to come back here. out there using this boat. It cut through the waves great. I'm gonna try it again with my other rods. You caught that? I found it. Okay, I'm okay, I don't need to live it. Get ready to drive it out, Dad. Okay, my dad's driving it out. It's really easy to use apparently. Look, How, how's it going? It's going. Oh, it's going, cutting right through the waves. Oh, this is a big wave. <laughs> Alright, I'm going out there. I'm gonna drop it right by these other waves over here. I think it's good here. Alright, time to drop it. I'm gonna turn it to C right here. Okay, it's dropped it. Now I'm gonna mark the GPS spot right here by holding this button down. Now it's marked. It'll always go back to that spot when I push there. Now let's take her home. She's coming back home to us now. I see her. We gotta name this boat. Ben! Ben got a bite! Ben's on a fish! <laughs> oh yeah, Ben! There you go! That looks nice! Feel, feel big? No. I think there's a pompano! Ben, it's a pompano! Ben, it's a pompano! Shrimp, huh? Yeah. Wow. And they liked it with the with that color. You see this color? They like to bite that color. Got our first pompano. Okay. This thing is so awesome. Look at go through straight through the wave. so crazy it's just cutting through the waves okay so the one that Ben got we didn't drop it too far 
we actually dropped it kind of closer in. So I'm going to try this one a little bit closer in, and I'm going to set this as GPS point number two. All right, let's drop it. All right, it should be dropped, and let's take her home. Did you mark it? Oh, I'm going to mark spot number two, yeah. Spot number two. All right, now I can come home. today this is called a bluefish and you want to be careful with them because they got really sharp teeth if you take a look they have like little razor blade teeth right here see that all right we're gonna keep this one too I just lost my rig because the bluefish cut it off but I have them all pre-tied already so I'm gonna use the pre-tied ones I'm also gonna put a float on them the float is the one that caught the pompano so I want another pompano Thank you. See why I need multiple people here is so hard to handle all the rods. So I'm gonna boat it back out and I'm gonna use the same GPS coordinates as I used to catch those other fish and hopefully I'll catch more fish. But first I have to retie this. Okay, this one we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit the first, the, so let's go to the second spot. That second spot was getting a lot of fish. Oh, first I gotta get past these waves. I am surprised how good it is at getting past those waves. All right, now I'm past the waves, I'm gonna go to the second fishing spot. So I'll push this button. There, it's on its way now. take me to the exact same hole. The exact same hole I was catching fish and it's GPS spot locked. All right, now it's at a spot. It made the beeping noise. So I'll drop it with this and then I'll push GPS return home. lines boated out. I dropped them in both the holes that I checked out earlier. Both of these holes I keep catching fish. So what I find to be really beneficial of using this boat is you get to really pick a spot when you find the hole you get to mark it with the GPS and you get to drive back to that exact same spot so you can find more of the same fish. And I think that in itself is such amazing technology. That is what's beneficial of using this boat rather than casting. Casting you have to visually remember where it is this GPS, it doesn't need to remember. Wait! Whoa. Oh! Oh! Cut me off! The whole thing got cut off! I saw that! That's a big shark! Holy crap! Big bite! 
That sucks, Ooh. but that was awesome. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. <laughs> Look, shark took everything. We're gonna boost box you. You know, it's like the quantum, right, Brendan? Don't wait, don't, don't, you know. Oh! I don't think I need, oh! Bite after bite. I think we found a good hole. Probably another whiting. Oh yeah, another whiting. There we go. That's a good one. Two fish at a time that using that so drone boat. Attract all sorts of fish. Let's put that in the cooler. Good job. Fish, blue fish. That's exactly how our day's working out today. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So now that I marked the hole, I'm gonna use my other rods and cast it into that exact hole that I marked. And I know that this hole has fish because every time I drop it out into this hole, I get one or two fish at a time. That means there are fish stacked up in there. So I've dropped the baits out with the boats just so many times over and over again. The battery is still very full. I can just keep doing it. 
but it takes a second for it to really get out there and knowing that the holes are here here and here i can kind of just eyeball it and cast it into the hole if i really want to get right back into the hole and i'm missing the hole with with casting i can just take the boat and drive it right back out there but a mixture of casting and a mixture of using this boat to get me into the strike zone has been working really well and here's going to be our secret weapon today i'm going to use some of our squiddy bits here we've got a slab here and a slab i think is the best because you get a huge mantle like this. You can cut it into whatever shape you want. So I'm gonna cut a strip off like this. I'll save this for later. Then I'll cut this into little pieces like this. And then on top of my fresh bait, I'm gonna put a piece of this salted bait. And this is so tough that even if the fresh bait gets bitten off, we still have nice fresh salted bait on top of it. All right, so let's go boat this guy out. Almost there. Okay, now I'm gonna mark this as, spot, as another spot. Now I'm marked, I'm gonna drop it. I've dropped it, now I'm gonna return home. Should be coming home now. Oh, a little bit nerve wracking because the waves are huge. I don't wanna lose this thing, this is so expensive. Awesome guys. Holy shit. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. big fish, big fish. Just got off. Bent my hook out. That was a big red fish. Completely bent out. Dang it. was as soon as I boated it out. Look, it bit both of the baits. It ate both, greedy little guy. That little by no means. That's mate. a big one, man. What is this? Definitely not a whiting. Is it drum?
Black drum. I told you we're gonna get a black drum. Wow. Nice. That's an awesome catch. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Run and grab it, Ben. Like I said, I have this one spot. When I boat it back out to that one spot, I keep getting fish. That's really important. When you find fish in one hole, keep going back to the hole. The awesome part about this boat is that you're able to just go right back to the same hole. Look, that's what I got from it. Wow, a pompano and a pompano and a whiting at the same time. That's good luck right there. This one's a little bit too small. We gotta let this one go. It's a Spanish pompano. Very cool. Honestly guys, it's almost cheating using this boat because it just makes it too easy. It takes the skill of casting out of it. I mean, unless you don't have arms or you don't have fingers or you have like some kind of disability. It just takes the, it takes the guesswork out. It makes it just almost a little too easy, but hey, I'm having fun still. It's not a competition for me. I'm just out here having fun with my friends and my family. All I really want out of this is to catch some fish and to put my friends on some fish. So it might be cheating if I was in a competition, but I'm just having fun here. Every time I boat it back out to those holes and drop it down, within two minutes, I get some kind of fish. So if I came back here again, and I push the button, it'll go back to the same hole. I've used the drone before, I've cast it all my life, but using this boat was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better day of fishing. This is not gonna be the last time we're using this boat. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys wanna catch some fish for yourself, and you don't have a boat, just bring out these rigs that I tie up, I catch fish every single time I come out here using these rigs, using some of this squid. We caught pompano using that. It's just a really fun time to come out here and just start catching fish. Now this boat, I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna have it on my store eventually, but right now I'm trying to make it so that this boat is gonna be perfect for just us. Visit our website and also subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every single Thursday. Thank you.